These are the pepper plants. Tomatoes. Giant Marconi peppers. Okay, I noticed there's some leaf damage on this tomato plant. And that's because the plants are hitting the light and these LED bulbs kind of get a little warm. So what I'm going to do is raise the light. I'll raise the light. So you want a little bit of a gap. And this isn't a serious issue. These plants will recover very nicely. I like to remove these lower leaves on the tomato plants. Because these start to get a little root bound, gets a little bit of airflow, easier to water, helps prevent disease. Today is April 15th. And before I transplant the tomatoes and peppers, I check the weather. Here on the 10-day forecast, there's a night that it gets down to 34 degrees. So I'm going to hold off on transplanting until after that night and recheck the weather. Since it's probably going to be at least four or five days before I transplant the tomatoes outside, I'm going to put these into bigger containers because they're getting kind of root bound. I've been prepping the soil in the containers in front of the garage. And now it's time to harvest this oregano that was grown last win <clears throat> last fall and I'm, it survived over the winter over hard freezes and everything. I'll let this air dry in a cardboard box. Here's the oregano after four or five days. So it got down to 32 degrees. It'll be interesting to see if the peas can withstand a hard frost. I covered all these with these little tubs. Well, the peas seem fine after that frost. No damage there. And today, I've checked the weather and everything looks good. So today is the big transplant day. Tomatoes, peppers, corn, and everything. I always like to fluff up the soil before planting. 
And this year I didn't add anything to the soil, no compost or amendments. I'm just fluffing it up. I cut little notches on the edge of the bed every 12 inches and I create a little square foot grid by connecting the lines. These beds are 12 inches high, three feet deep, seven feet long. And I plant one pepper plant per square foot. And then I plant two tomatoes in the back edge. And here's the corn. Here's the kohlrabi. Here are the leftover plants. I always start a few extras in case something doesn't work out, I have a replacement. And in about a week, I'll start planting the pole beans, the cucumbers, and the zucchini. Got the hex bed planted out, got the fence. And these cages I just made out of fencing. I just kind of rolled it into a cage. This is my favorite Cupid grape tomato in front of the garage here. These are all Romas. I have a couple extra lettuce plants that I planted right there. I'll plant radishes around the outside edge here in the next few days.